Hey guys, it's Gabriel here with naturalwhetstonesharpening.com. <laughs> we made an embarrassing error, but we're gonna give a little science lesson and help you guys learn how to do the specific gravity of stones. So this, I was wrong about. We just ran the specific gravity formula, which is written here. And when we did that, we got a 2.68, which is the range of quartzite. So next, we're gonna test what we're fairly certain is a piece of green jade from Wyoming. And we're gonna run the specific gravity calculation on it and see if it gets in the range. And this will give you guys who are out there prospecting or treasure hunting or want to identify the density of your stone, it'll give you guys a how-to video. So here we go. Let's take the specific gravity reading of this stone. So the first thing you want to do is you need to have a way to suspend your stone from the scale so that you can put it in water. So all we have here is we've got a little piece of wood across our scale and some fishing line, which probably doesn't pick up very good on the camera. And that's what we'll use to suspend the stone above our water and then later in the water. Real important, make sure you zero your scale because if you forget to do that, your wood will mess up the calculation. <laughs> and also, okay, it's touching the bucket slightly. We've, it's also touching this. So we're gonna make sure that it's truly suspended from the scale. Okay, and now when it stops, that's the first number you're gonna write down. And this is the dry weight. You wanna make sure it's not in the water yet. 2,378 grams. Grams. <laughs> Next, we're gonna suspend the stone and read that number. So we're just gonna lift up our bucket of water and you can, you do wanna try and keep this stable and make sure your stone is not touching the floors or the walls of the bucket. So we're having some fluctuation. We're gonna let it settle a little. 1,585, a little bit of inaccuracy in that last digit. 1,590 was a stopping point for a second. So we'll go 1,590. Now next, for our formula, we're gonna subtract the wet weight from the dry weight. So our dry weight is 2,378 grams. Just wanna subtract. And you put 2,385. Uh-huh. <laughs> 78, you got the fingers on the wrong buttons. Okay. Subtract uh, 1,590, you get 788 grams. Step back, give the pen to the formula man. Who can't write? <laughs> <laughs> you write like a doctor. I'll just decipher your notes and you do the calculating. All right. There we go. So now we're gonna find our difference here with division for the specific gravity. We're gonna take that difference between the two and divide. And boom, we get a 3.0. So this stone is in the range of nephrite jade. And that's a really pretty spectacular uncut stone these days. There's not a lot of these in people's collections. It's some good Wyoming apple jade. Well, I hope that helps you guys if you're doing any density testing. And yeah, be careful or you might get fooled like we did by this stone here. It's a damn fine piece of not jade. <laughs>